Ooh. Oh God. Good Joe. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay, and we are here back with our girlfriends for Halloween season, October. Uh, that should be when this video releases on YouTube. And today, we are getting into the movie Cujo. This will be our reaction to it. Uh, this is a movie that none, well, this is a movie that Zay, Tina, Nat have not seen for sure. This is a movie that I do not know for sure if I've seen it or not. I don't think I have, but I have seen clips and images from this movie. So uh, I am well aware that it is about an evil dog. And, uh, but that's pretty much all I can remember about it. Uh, Zay, is there anything about this movie you know before getting into it? Obviously, because I just mentioned it, we're all aware that it's about an evil dog. Uh, it is a uh, Stephen King adaptation. I'm aware of that mm. as well. But other than that, not not too much uh, 1980s movie. Uh, and yeah, uh, Zay, what do you know about this movie before we get into it? Yeah, outside of that, um, I did forget that it was a Stephen King adaptation. But outside of that, that's really all I've, I know. I mean, I've heard the movie referenced before, like the name Cujo, whenever you're talking about like, a dog that <laughs> you think that's like evil or mean you're like all right cujo so yeah, other than that other than that yeah i don't really know much about this movie so super interested to get into it okay tina is there anything you know about this movie before we jump in no. other than what we mentioned no okay how Absolutely about you Nat? Not. nothing nothing okay so going in pretty blind here uh well with that being said if you guys like what you're watching <laughs> leave a like down below subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already and if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies, as well as get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. You can check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. You're getting better at this every time. Uh, uh, sorry, I was busy practicing my wildlife photography skills I learned online through Skillshare. What? What is that? Oh, Skillshare? It's this wonderful online learning community where you can learn from creatives who are skilled in their field. I'm talking about the bird on your chair. What do you mean? Yeah. Skillshare offers a variety of different options, so find what you like. And if you're interested, help support the channel and get 30% off your first year by using our promo code Cam and Zay. Let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into Cujo. Woof. <sighs> Thanks for joining in on that one with me, Zay. Bark. Really? Sorry. I just really <laughs> had to let you just take all that. Oh. Uh, yeah, the yeah. cringe. Uh. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, um, he's done. Please. <laughs> that's oh. the St. Bernard. I'm guessing that's Cujo. Oh, I thought he got him. Oh, shit. I thought he got him right off the rip. Go, 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 Peter. Go, Peter. Go, Peter. Dude, nice. Oh. God, they're so smart. Wow. <laughs> that is a, a nightmare. Cheers, Johnny. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, even the bat is like, get me out of here. It's like, please. Oh, does it become oh like God. a vampire dog? <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I see the the origin story here. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Around the top of the noggin, too. What the heck is going on here? That's a big no for me. <laughs> Brother, turn that light off and shut the door. I'd be gone. It's the rabbit. You got to get me out of here. There's been this dog on my tail. <laughs> it's, oh. it's Cujo hanging upside down like a bat yeah, and, in the closet. Oh, that's his room. That, I've done this. This is... Yeah. <laughs> we've all done... Oh, yeah. Oh. The, the psych out, the mist... <laughs> <laughs> the false start is crazy. What are you waiting for? Yeah, Girl. I love how it, it looks so much farther uh -huh. away. Yeah. yeah. That shot was really cool. Come on. Come on. Under we the made it. It's a safe night. Okay. Nope. Gone. 
I'm out. Out. I'd be screaming. <laughs> like that? There you go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, my closet door just opened by itself. Not a bad dream. Twice. <laughs> Too much junk food. Too much of the tube, guys. Don't gaslight me. I saw that door open. <laughs> yeah, bro. Who would probably be a lot happier. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's just a bad door. I saw him, really. Uh, He's in the closet. Who? He has yellow eyes and he has teeth. And they're curled like this. All I'm saying is I didn't see that kid. <laughs> you old gas letter child? <laughs> that sounds terrifying. I saw him. Really? You saw him in your dreams. This is gaslighting 101. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm sleeping in your bed. Or one of you are sleeping in here. So you pick. <laughs> There's no real monsters there. Really? Really? Oh, you just lined this kid's face. Overdone with gone, right? Overdone with gone. What a guy. Okay, snuggle in. This movie makes me wonder how many things as a child I, I did actually see. That just <laughs> never came back after my parents told me everything was all right. I did have a stuffed animal that I kept shoving under the, the desk and it kept coming out. Not, I didn't see it come out, but every time I went back in my room, it was out. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Dude, those were the longest nights ever when you got like scared like that. You just couldn't yeah. fall asleep. <laughs> you did all of that? I guess. I mean, do we have a check for one? Uh, listen, why don't you just wait until I bring your table back? It's like a woodworker, I guess. I can't stay for a cup of coffee anyway. Sorry, would you like a. Just teasing. He looks like different than him. He's acting what? weird. No. What did I do uh, now? Just... Huh? No, him. No, the mom. Oh yeah, it did seem like a weird look the mom gave him. Yeah. Yeah. There aren't any such things as monsters. Not in the daytime, anyway. In the daytime, you have to pay your knee as well. Yeah. yeah see, see, she's she acting looks... strange. What I played trombone when I was when I lived in Tennessee. Did you really? Yeah. You're a jack of all trades. You hear that? I can do everything. Is that? That doesn't. Is that Steve? Oh shit! Isn't that the mom? That's definitely the mom. That's, That's the, the mom. mom. But the guy playing the trombone. I'm not sure. Is she putting on different underwear? Wow. Suspicious. Really suspicious. Scandalous. Oh, so she. Wow. Shame. Tough time finding this place. How are you? My name is uh, Victor Trenton. You're Mr. Camber, right? Folks, want anything to drink? No, thank you. Thanks. Just a glass of adultery. Go on, that dog. You know that oh. dog. Don't worry about Be it. Be more dramatic. It's a St. Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that's the oh, that's gnarly. Who am I with you? Wonderful. Lies. Really not. <laughs> Lies instantly, yeah. He knows. Poor guy. Thousands of people across the country reported internal hemorrhaging after eating sharp cereal products. Gare, however, proved to be a false alarm. I wonder why. Considering they're called sharp Gare. cereal. The scare has reached alarming proportions. Sharp cereal has been unavailable for comment. It's called sharp cereal. That's the <laughs> yeah, literally. Twinkles, and now kids all over Twinkles. the country are peeing and puking red dye. Oh, it's not hemorrhaging. It's the red dye from the cereal. That's why she said the scare was a false alarm. <laughs> uh -oh. piss that dog off. They just look oh, so, they always look so sad, tired. Yeah. I think he's thinking about something. Oh, oh God. Where do you tell your husband that you are?
Your gluttony knows no bounds. Terrific husband and this terrific kid, and here I am screwing around with the local stud. No offense intended. Local stud? Unbelievable. It's not your fault. It was... It's just a stupid mistake. Damn. Oh, is he gonna catch her? <gasps> oh! <gasps> Ooh, you, you, I. Turn around. Nah, Don't nah. Turn around. I would have went straight to the house, and I would have been sitting in my chair, like I'll wait till your ass gets home. But it's like hard to interpret that. Maybe. I will. I see. A short... Maybe. My why right away. There's a load of groceries here, Ted. That's your job. No, not today. Ooh. He said not today. So what'd you today. do today? Uh, mm. Usual groceries, mm. errands. Usual. <laughs> usual. Particular choice of words. There. Start sweating instantly. Mm. He's like, oh. sick my dog on you. You couldn't sick that dog on me if I was coming at you with a straight razor in each hand. That dog is just gonna come at you in a minute. He's bite your leg off. You gotta take the bar to visit a sister. Gonna be gone a week. <laughs> It's like he's sensitive to loud sounds. Yeah. She's panicking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As she should. <gasps> Ooh. God, you scared the shit out of me. Did you just walk in? Clearly, yeah. Like With what? A flower. I miss you. Okay. We. Ooh. Wow. So what happened then? That's uh, that yeah, definitely. I brought your table, but I spilled Steve. some. Oh, you spilled some, eh? Why don't you spill the beans while you're at it? Yeah, Buster. Was not with his friend is with um. Well, his friend is also a little bit of an issue. Yeah, but. But maybe He's not, not the source. With that guy. He's with... Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> this transition is insane. Yeah, really well shot. Pujo? My dog was ever in something like that. Dog's gonna have to stay there. <laughs> Oh, oh, psych, he's behind it. Oh, God. Cujo, it's me, Brett. Go. Cujo don't care. Damn. It seems like he's, like, confused. With that. Yeah. Cujo! He, like, snapped, he snapped out of it for a second. Cujo! Yeah. It was it's a kid. And I love this. He's, like, literally like a shark swimming away. Like, you can't yeah. see them anymore. He, like, in that oh. deep music. I'll see you. Damn. Says this that. to the kid. Just... Here, I'll see you. Stay there. He goes up for a hug. Like... <laughs> running after the car. It's a car. With yellow eyes. Yeah, that is interesting. Because hmm. what was the monster? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Something, definitely. It could be a red herring. It really mm. was his imagination. It was over. I just wanted to be sure that you knew that. I can't make that it never happened, Vic. That's not, that's not, you're not helping. I don't know. Yikes. They haven't confronted the situation, so that makes it more hard now. They're like dancing around, like they touch on it, but they never have had, they haven't had that like whole, yeah, like, real full combo. Kids must be worried about the dog. Like, no, I'm worried about Cujo. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bloody. He was dripping foam at the mouth. I think I better do that. They're going on a vacation to her sister's. She brought, she packed photo albums. Oh. Ooh. Oh God. Cujo. <laughs> <laughs> What are you growling at? Oh my jeez. Oh yeah, that oh. You have rabies? Is that what it is? Oh, 
Don't get bit. Go, 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 go. Oh, damn. So what did you say about if you came out with two straight lasers? Come here. Yeah. Don't throw the dog. Are you insane? You are dead, you stupid son of a bitch. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm not talking to the dog. Did he bite him? Here yeah. Better hope oh, he's vicious. He, like, really wants to kill him. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, shit! And you know, how heavy is that thing? Oh, dude, easy over 100. Oh, my Jesus. gosh. He's wagging his tail. Yeah. So, cool, he just got, like, rabies. It might be rabies. That uh, that's what it kind of yeah. seems yeah. like. See like the foaming of the mouth and stuff sounds like it would be rabies and a bat yeah, bit him. Yeah, exactly. Like even if he survived that attack, like you need to immediately get shots for rabies. Yeah. You're shot, rabies. 911? Are you looking up 911? What are you? You might want to hurry up. Is Kujo going to be just... Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh no. Kujo. Oh jeez. Oh my God, you're rabbit. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'd be that table and dogs that. Oh. Well, I would. I. I. If I had to face my dog down that was rabid, I would be so fucking sad. Because I, yeah. you know, it's not your dog anymore. Yeah. Oh. And they just got to the cambers. And it, their car's about to die. The car's gonna be dead. The wife and son oh, aren't there. God. The other two are dead. Everything in this car is broken. Oh my god, he's. Damn this car! You pull how I push. Pull. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Close your door. What is that coming from? Close your door. Shut the door. Other door. Other door. Other door. Other door. Other door. Other door. Okay, come on, no. that was a monster. You call that thing a monster. That is an animal. <laughs> that thing is a... That poor kid will get traumatized. Oh, yeah. Just a doggy. Oh, oh, just a doggy. Oh, is that what you call it? I don't even know how, like... Because it would be so hard to think of how to get out of that situation with the kid. Especially just... with a dead car and your kid. I don't know. I think the car is dead. I think it's out of yeah. gas. It's like, it has like all these lights on it. She's sweet. She's able to use the sound though, which kind of usually pisses him off or makes him want to go away. That's true. Doggy, doggy, doggy. The sound did it. The, you know how he doesn't like sound? Like loud. The horn made him go away. Uh, Listen to me. Oh, don't shake. You don't need to relax. No, it's like, it's like, I get it. I do too. <laughs> We have to let the engine die down. <laughs> oh gosh, what do you do? Oh, it's going to win. He's, oh, yeah. he's just waiting. It's, like, it's okay, that turtle's going to pop its head out at some point. And I'll be ready. Oh, you are uh... a gross boy. Oh gosh, that's disgusting. Yeah. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Drive. Drive. What are you doing? Why are you stopping? Fucking what are we dog. waiting? Huh. That no. wasn't needed. Ew. Every time we look at him, he's just more grotesque. Yeah. Dog is like, oh, really? Walks up slowly, puts a paw on the window. <laughs> Ethel? <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember what you said. Are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> the phone's ringing. So go home. Oh, he probably thinks she's out cheating. Huh. I don't blame him. Uh. 
No. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Now's There's nowhere chance. for it. Oh, not yet. Where are you going to go? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Run? I, I don't know. We know how fast I'd live in this movie. <laughs> Oh, is shit. he about to destroy the phone? How intelligent it's is this dog? It's the sound. He can't right. stand the sound. And I think she's catching on to that. God, he's a gross being. But he ran away from the horn, but then went to attack the phone. I think he's just, uh, yeah, I think the sound is what's like cueing him to like where he thinks people are. Don't know. They just have a patrol guard just <laughs> lurking. Why is the window open? Maybe it's hot. Oxygen yeah. is my test. <laughs> <laughs> that bat ain't gonna oh, help. Oh yeah, look at her sweat. When? Yeah, Keep that bat. About that bat, but it ain't gonna help. Cujo's already no. dealt with the bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the you. <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> you. Oh, oh! There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's probably gonna go through, like, actually through the window now. Yeah, it's broken. He's. Dead. Is he conflicted? He's like, I don't want to leave these two. Yeah, he is. Look, roll the window! 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 Yeah. Oh my oh. gosh! He's just straight head butted the car. <laughs> What is that? We don't have anything in there to like poke him with. It's the kid yeah. screaming, right? That's no, no, what's no. pissing people yeah. off. Oh, just... no, oh. Like... oh, the window. Oh, if he goes for that window one more time. Oh, he's trying to peel he's... the door open yeah. with the handle right now. He's like. Exactly. That way, I think they're done if he goes for that window one more time. I think it's a little bit of both, too. The phone ringing is lit him up, but then, like, the kid's screaming is, like, he's just going to sound. Yeah! This is a, this is terrifying. Yeah, because you literally can't do anything in this situation. Oh, I get you it, but you gotta up. shut up. <laughs> it's like. She looks sick. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I'd be sick, sick to my <laughs> stomach in this situation. Probably hungry, dehydrated, uh -oh. sweating. Oh, kid. Oh, my God. You, have other, you have another door. They Can both, I... like, I think both the handles got busted on like, each side. Like, they're, she kind of just has to pick one to go through. Yeah, the door Still just kind of detached. I'm worried about her. There's I'm worried about her there. not being able to close it back now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are your plans? <laughs> In <sighs> heels, please take them off. Oh. Raw dog it, please. I'm... Oh, look at him. Swamp monster of a dog right waiting. now. Hey, we'll leave the side of the car. Triggered by loud, so... That the door is not closed. Yeah, your kid is done. He will attack her, just... You need to look a little she closer. She fucking at. sneezes. She's done for. Oh, don't do that. She can also attack him with... Oh, oh he left. Gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, she's good. No. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. Bro is just backing up and then jumping back in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, bonk it, bonk it, bonk it. Bonk it again, bonk it again, bonk it again. Yeah. Oh. She, she has to go to the hospital now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, immediately. Did he just hit her? <laughs> he, like, he went to grab her and her leg. Listen. Listen. He's going to die. Yeah. Because of that infection. 
And that's probably his, like, mind spiraling. Yeah. No! I think it's time for you to go home now. Okay, I thought she was dead. It looks like a grizzly bear. Yeah. Is he laying there? Oh. He's gonna sleep on the hood. How smart is this dog? I mean, Saber Nords are smart dogs, just in general. God, give me a fear. God can't help you. Yeah, I don't know how. You <laughs> yeah, this God scared of Cujo. This is a godless place right now with Cujo running around. Better wake up. Hey. Um. Um. Uh, is he having a heat stroke? Dad, wake up! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God! So frustrating. The most annoying thing ever. Ow! Ow! Breathe, 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 breathe. Was it a, was it, what is this, a seizure, a heat stroke? Uh... Yeah, I don't, I can't tell. Yes, Steve. Go save the day. That'll send Vic over the edge. <laughs> if, he's, if Steve is the one that saves him, he'd be like, forget it. <laughs> this dude is just walking in the house. I know. Like, he he owns a place. Every time. No, for sure. Help yourself. You're so <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> oh. Are oh, he's you a okay? psychopath. To stroke the Cuisinart blade. Oh. <laughs> oh, he did damage to the house. Oh my gosh. Why? Crazy. The cops. Where's your car? It's in the shop at Cambers. The needle valve is sticking. Joe Cambers? Yes, Joe Cambers. She was going to take it in. Ooh. Connect the dots. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, they're going to check it out. Go there with multiple of you, please. Like a whole army. <laughs> Gun would. I don't know. I'm drawn. You can... Gun would have been drawn immediately. That thing. Oh. But at least uh, this guy's the... done for, but at least the gun's there. But... <laughs> That's just a beam, buddy. This is, yes, this is the perfect time to grab your oh. son, get in his car. Oh! Yo, that dog just straight pushed him off. You cannot. We need to go. There are other doors. And a broken. It's too it's late. It's too late. You took too long. <sighs> Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, damn. Oh, not now. You could have been on your way home. Oh, my daddy. She, mm, right. I don't know if she could have been. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I know. Listen, I think your patience only lasts so long if you keep hearing that. But, like, damn. <laughs> she shook him the one time. <laughs> Poor kid. They picked up Kim. He admits that he trashed the house. Then the story checks. Hey, the truth, I believe him. Cambers. 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 Well, he uh, is probably following up some lead. Uh... You... No. No. <laughs> he is on in the dirt right now. He hasn't even called in. That's not suspicious. He's like, forget it. This is, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. <laughs> like. Did he stop breathing? <gasps> He's not dead. Dad. Pulse check, pulse check, pulse check. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, dear God. Oh. my baby. What does that mean? Did you hear so a pulse he... or not? <laughs> Because you're not doing anything. You're not telling us anything. Yeah, is the, is he dead? Is he alive? Oh. Where are you going? We're running this back. 
Where are you going? Hustle. There's a car. Done for. Absolutely done for. Now you're in a rock and a hard place because you're halfway there. And you're one thing. Oh! Clock him! No, what? She missed. Don't wit, don't miss. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Jeez! Oh. <laughs> On phase. <laughs> Oh, oh, the bat broke. Shit. Oh, shit. What are you going to stab him with it then, I guess? Yeah, you got like a... Dang. <laughs> oh, Take for... Take shoes off. Good lord. Ooh! He's not dead, though. Guaranteed he's not dead. Him? Just, like, I don't know. Him. He stopped moving. Oh. One in the head. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> Ensure the threat is neutralized and then we bring child into house. Yes, please just shoot him in the head. The other door. <laughs> We've oh. already been through this. <laughs> oh. And her kid's like knocked up. Just break the glass. Yeah, the glass is it's halfway there. You have a, you have a gun. Careful, because that I'm just. There is a window that's cracked. That's what we're saying. We decided to break the other one, I guess. <laughs> that's mother's rage right there. Yeah, that was a breakdown right there. We know he can get. It. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. The window's broken in the house. Yeah. The window's he... broken. The back I... door's open. Water. Ice. Water. Yeah, it must have been a heat stroke before. Yeah. Yeah. Or like His a lips... dehydration seizure, maybe, or something. Like, yeah. Yeah, he needs... his lips are like super chapped. <gasps> Hallucinate when you have like fever. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, thank God. Let's go. Oh. I get she it, needs but... a moment. I couldn't even imagine that feeling. I... Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh! 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 You have the gun. 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 No, she does not have the gun. Oh, she does. Yes. See the blood. Donna! Oh, good Ooh. job, Donna. I just feel like that's a tough story to explain to the cops. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The, the dog did this. Big. Like, we have a dead cop now. We're covered in blood and dirt. I mean, you can see that it's like an animal attack okay that was our reaction to cujo if you liked what you're watching leave a like down below subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already and if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies as well as get three edit movie reactions ahead of youtube you can check that out on patreon the link for that is in the description wow okay so this movie was absolutely wild uh it was interesting for sure they definitely did a good job at building that tension and that suspense and setting up a scenario in which you know I, it, it's kind of akin to like you're on an island and or like on a raft and there's a shark circling you and there's nowhere to go but i think the unique thing about this situation is that you kind of do have some options more so than if you were on a raft and it's like oh like just do this or but you can't do this but like it makes it even more tense or more suspenseful uh, they did a really good job at kind of building up the threat throughout the movie. I thought uh, that was really well done. At first, I was going to say, like, why did they need to have this whole, like, adultery thing? Why did they need to do that? I thought that that was, like, really unnecessary until they kind of brought it in more to the end as a, look, this is why the husband isn't immediately going there. 
This is why he needs time away from his wife. So it, it, it helps explain the situation she's in. It also helps explain why her husband's not coming to the rescue right away because he just thinks maybe an affair is happening or something like that. So I thought that it was incorporated really well in that aspect. Uh, I also do think they did a good job at kind of drawing us in a little bit with that drama in the beginning because the Cujo situation was going to be such a slow build. If they didn't have something mm -hmm. else for us to be interested in, like an affair or something like that, if I could see a lot of people clocking out of this movie very early. So I think they did a really good job at kind of capturing our attention with some initial drama and having it play in later on. But overall, I mean, the movie was about Cujo and the horror and the thriller and the suspense of being in a situation like that. And Stephen King, he does a really good job. And obviously, we don't know how much is adapted from the novel of Stephen King. Mm -hmm. But I know that, like, from another movie that was adapted uh, from Stephen King, Misery, without saying exactly what happens in the movie, um, it's that similar feeling of you, the the character you're watching it can't get out. There's nothing they can yeah. do. They're trapped mm -hmm. in this horrible situation, um, and, and, it, and you know it was brutal. It, it, they do kind of make you feel bad for the dog, but at the end of the day, it wasn't just like a bad dog or like a like an evil dog as much as it was a rabid dog. And and, and I didn't know it was going to be as creepily realistic as it was in the sense mm -hmm. that. You know, I thought it was like, oh, maybe a demon possessed the dog or maybe the dog was just going to be like supernaturally evil. But no, they're like, hey, yeah, you got rabies. That shit can happen. To yeah. your dog. Watch out. Uh, so overall, I thought it was a really fun experience, a really well integrated uh, horror with the other aspects and the drama as well. And oh, my God, the kids acting was unbelievable. <laughs> like I, at times I'm like, yeah, did they really make that kid think that a rabid dog was attacking i mean <laughs> that kid did an amazing job shout out to the dog that dog seemed extremely yeah. well trained, uh for the movie so uh yeah props to that uh, the acting all around even with the other characters you know i i will say one of the issues that zay and i tend to run in with previous horror films is that the acting sometimes is a little bit over the top or like mm -hmm. eh, this or that uh, in some areas, but this movie, I think the acting was pretty well done throughout. Uh, overall, again, I thought it was a fun time. Really, really creepy, really scary movie. I could see why, as a child, if you watch this, why you don't want, won't want to go anywhere near a dog, let alone a Saint Bernard. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I thought it was. I thought it was pretty well done for a horror thriller uh, movie. Really did capture the the thrill. I I enjoyed it. Zay, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think, and just to kind of touch on. Um something you mentioned with like with this film and kind of with misery as well is that i like about these stephen king novels adapted to movies is that they're also not like complete like this isn't something that's like now it's exaggerated a little bit i don't think that this would happen with a dog getting rabies where it become this super freak like you know destroy but it's real enough to where it's like that would freak me out like it's, it's still in the realm of like could that happen like or if that did happen like what would i do um, so it's cool because, you know, a lot of horror movies nowadays, they focus on being like supernatural or super over the top. Like you're, you can kind of take yourself out of it and be like, that will never happen. Like that. There's no way that this would ever happen. Um, but this, it's like, I'm like, I'm making sure my dogs stay in our yard at all times. <laughs> yeah. Um, the kid was fantastic, uh, acting. That was actually really, really impressive. I was very shocked by that. Um, and even like the decision-making in it really wasn't it wasn't like the horror type of decision making that you see where it's like, it's like, you're just making the worst decisions. We sometimes were like, all right, come on, like faster, faster. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? But, um, Aside overall, from just, the, yeah. heels. the heels, yeah, the heels, the heels. Right. I'm like, what do you, yeah, get that out of here. And I just liked how, you know, with the story as well, Cujo, it was almost like you had this, you had this super nice, like well-trained house dog that just was super genuine and nice and everything easy to be around. And he turned into like an, a, his roots, like what a dog's roots would be, like an apex predator. He never, he always had eyes on the car no matter what, because that's where his prey is. Even when it was between like the phone ringing and that, you could see him like, he's like, I don't want to take my eyes off them, but I need to handle this. You know what I'm saying? So it was just cool that they, uh, you know, seemed like they adapted a lot of it from like, what would an animal do in this situation? It has trapped prey. What's it going to do? Well, it's not going to just leave it because it knows it's there. And um, yeah, I mean, once again, these are always a blast. Stephen King, these make me want to read the novels because the adaptations to the films are always great. They're super well done. 
Uh, like Cam said, shout out to the dog, shout out to the handlers or the trainers. I don't know how they did some of the practical effects that they did um, because it's just crazy. And um, there was really cool transition shots as well throughout the film. Yeah, like how they did their mist transition was like really cool, um, really unique how they did it. And I uh, really did a good job at setting the tone. I just like that also the scenery of the whole film as well. I looked at their station in Maine, the license plate said Maine. So it makes sense why we had that nice view from the mansion over the water and everything and judging from the geography. But overall, fantastic movie. I had an absolute blast with it for sure. All right, uh, Nat, what, what are your thoughts after watching Cujo? <laughs> I really liked the most of the scene with the kid. Um when he when we thought that he was like choking or something his eyes got like wide i really like that scene because i felt like i mean he's dying or what is happening and i mean yeah like i didn't like when i see like the dog like like when he got like by because of that and but yeah and i agree with some of the comments that you just said previously i will just add that I really like the way we saw like the mom just trying to save um, her son and like, I mean, she took a while to do it, but <laughs> they capture it really like fantastic. And it makes you like think like, what if that thing happens to my dog? I mean, imagine, I don't know, it just will be like super scary. Yeah, they did do a good job at making um, making the maternal instinct seem realistic. like. Like mm -hmm. those were choices that I th I feel like a mom would be in, um, and 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 you you make a point like the 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 way they set up what was going on with the kid was very interesting because there's a lot of aspects there that wasn't necessary. I mean, it was necessary to make the movie better, but like we could have had like people on the cast be like, yeah, just put them trapped in the car. Don't do all this extra stuff, you know. But they did, and they did it in a, in a well done way. Like it, I never had a point where I was like, oh, a mother wouldn't do that. Like. You know, the mom right. started panicking with the kid at a certain point, but still had to be the one in charge. Like she realized like, hey, it, you know, this is what I have to do in this type of situation. So, yeah, I, I agree. They 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 really did uh, get pretty realistic on a lot of the like Zay mentioned a lot of the decisions made, but also like the maternal instinct that a mom would have. I wonder what could happen now with the relationship of their parents because they had an affair, but mm. you just clearly see what happened to the kid and everything and how it's going to like yeah they left a definitely open ending on are they going to yeah. solve that situation because of what they went through yeah i don't know i don't know if there's a second one but that's a good point they leave it open-ended like how, how is he going to feel i mean she did get into that situation with with the friend but she also at the end of the day like looked after their son and mm -hmm. saved him and everything and he might be eternally grateful for that if anything else but yeah, you, got, you make a good point there. Uh, Tina, what are your thoughts on the movie? Um, I really like this movie. There was like a lot of parts where I was like, like, you know, like when you like she tripped over whatever it was because of her heels. And it's like the like common scary movie type thing where a girl trips or oh, like I guess, yeah, it's like yeah. The, the stupid decisions. But it's like you also have to think like uh, Nat said with like the maternal instincts, it's she's in this situation so she has to process mm -hmm. like what's happening and how to get out of it so it's like i like that it took that still took that time mm -hmm. i guess you can say um but there were yeah there were a lot of parts where i was just like just <laughs> the car just get in the car <laughs> <laughs> like just go but it's like again like it, we've never been put in a situation like that where it's a dog <laughs> is trying to kill you and she's also has to think like she has a tiny little person that she has to look after that can't process what she's processing um but i know yeah pretty much i just agree with every <laughs> like everything you guys are saying i'm like oh well they already said it so <laughs> yeah you, you, you hey that they'll be able to get back together i think i feel like this is part of like a at least on her side it's like a trauma bond thing like she's gonna feel closer to her husband but I think because he can't really, Relate. it's like, you still, you still or, get it. <laughs> you still, yeah. you, still okay. you know, but I think, yeah, I think they can figure out a way to get past it because she did yeah. stop it or try to. That's fair. The, the one person that 
probably got the worst end of this is that kid. He ain't ever going near a dog again. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> not. Poor, poor. This would be brutal for him. Uh, all right. Well, with that being said, let's get into the rating. Just so you guys know, we go from zero to ten. We never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because giving out a zero, we're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. By giving out a ten, we're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie. We do decimal points like nine point nine 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 and so on. If we so please, five is average. Six is good. Seven is great. Eight is beyond that. Nine is top tier cinema. I'm probably gonna put this bad boy at about. Uh, you know, I, I want to say, I want to say it's it's an eight, and I'll be honest as to why I want to say that. I think that they had a good slow build. I thought they had a good, uh, uh, suspenseful, thrilling, um, uh, situation that I thought was good. The drama at the beginning tied in. Everything I mentioned before uh, are the good qualities. Now, this is a personal subjective experience, and so my opinion is just personal, just subjective. And I can't, don't know if I can necessarily pinpoint exactly why I'm about to say this. Maybe it's just because of the time. Um, maybe it was just because of some of the moments uh, didn't feel that dramatic. While there were dramatic moments, I'm not sure why I'm saying this, but there were moments that I felt bored or I was like, let's move on. You know, the, never did I feel bored when Cujo was around. Every time Cujo was around, I was like, oh, shit, high alert. Um, some of the drama moments, I was like, oh, this is interesting, this is interesting. But other moments, it's like, I get that the, the whole serial thing played a role in it, but, like, yeah. I couldn't care less whenever that was happening. <laughs> um, so there were some, like, changes or touch-ups maybe that could be made to maybe make it a little less boring and i know a lot of people who are watching this are from the previous generation might be like well that's because you youngins have a low <laughs> attention span <laughs> look zay and i have been doing reactions for you know we're, we're a year and a half now we watched yeah. a lot of movies from a lot you know a lot of movies from the 80s 70s and all this type of stuff and and those movies don't lose our attention span like that i'm not saying this one did i enjoyed it all the way through but there was something about it that I can't necessarily pinpoint that just in some moments I, I was, I was like a little bit bored, but mm -hmm. overall I, I did think it was a good movie. Uh, um, and, and, and they did a really good job at capturing what they wanted to capture when it comes to the, the thrill of it, the suspense of it. I think that was done perfectly, almost mm -hmm. near perfect. Uh, so I would give it about an eight. Zay, what about you? Yeah, I mean, I would take it like just to like an 8.25 personally. I think that I agree. Yeah, the serial piece, I really couldn't have given a, a damn about. There was just, there were some parts where you're like, okay, what are we doing here? Like, you know, like, let's get yeah. back because it's about Cujo. You want to see Cujo develop into what he's supposed to be <clears throat> and see like that storyline develop. I kind of wish maybe that we got to see like Cujo like slowly turn a little bit more even like around the dad or like maybe even some people take note of like, Brett says something because he ran to him in the woods, but it would have been interesting for like, I don't know, maybe just to get that expanded on or whatever the case is. Um, I, I yeah, I mean, I, I guess I gotta, I do have to say, you know, with the practical effects and how well that dog had to have been trained and everything, that's why I give it an 8.25 because that's, that's a lot true. more work now that you're not, you're, it's not CGI or anything like that's a real dog that you're dealing with that, you know, takes a lot of time, effort, and again, the acting, especially from the kid. Like honestly, the kid and, and the dog and Cujo were the stars. They they were like the they kept it so interesting because of how well the dog was trained and how well the kid acted. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are like small gripes. I guess it could be structured a little bit different, or maybe they could have filled something in a little bit more. I, I would have to read the book. I feel like the book would be a little bit more interesting to see. Maybe there were parts they, they should have adapted, and maybe that's something some people recognize that have read the book. Comment down below. We are like, oh, I wish they put this in the book and took that out. Because I'm sure that there could, there's probably areas like that. Like but put this it, from the book in? or In, or yeah. Like, like, like hey, okay. instead of having the serial part, like obviously played a role because it had the dad away right. from town and everything. Sure. But maybe there was more like interesting parts from the book that they're like, you could have put in there and shortened up that. That's my two cents on it, though. 8.25 is not a bad rating by any standard. So, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Nat, what are your thoughts? What do you give it? Mm, I'll say uh, 7.9. Yeah, I agree with you. It's just some moments that they were like more kind of slow or they could have put something more entertained. Like the serial thing was more like, okay, I will love to see more about 
the other kid, like the older kid, like he could mm. have done like something different with the with Pujo. I mean, I don't know, like because what happened with that kid? Yeah, what did happen with him? With Brett? Oh, he went with his mom. He went with his he mom. Just uh, went and that, that was but it. he could have been like yeah. They he could have been de- uh, develop a story out of it. Like he could have done something different. They could have made him like. A, a small glimmer of hope mm-hmm. to us and maybe the mom maybe he could mm-hmm. show up because Cujo did snap out of it after seeing him while the transition mm-hmm. maybe they could have continued with that setup as to have him again we don't know how the book is or anything like that yeah but yeah i mean that's like a fun idea that could have been implemented mm-hmm. as well yeah because like the like the serial thing like the company and all of that is just like okay just or moral of the affair or what happened if Cujo just like escape or Right. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, overall, happy. Still, I mean, cool to see 7.9 it. is a pretty good score. So overall, you, mm. you would say you enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed the movie for sure. I didn't get like bored. Mm-hmm. It's just like some scenes could have done like more entertain for me, like more like cat, like capture my attention. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, Tina, how about you? Where, where would you put this? Um, I would put it at an eight. Um, I kind of wish they did more, not necessarily a backstory, but more of a story with Brett and his mom. Because again, like I mentioned, like she put the photo albums in the suitcase. Oh, yeah. And it's like that. I don't know. That just seemed like weird to me for her to do. Maybe they're not photo albums. Maybe they were just like large books or something. (laughs) But that's what they look like to me. And I'm like, it kind of looked like she was leaving. Brett came inside and she kind of like tried to hide it it looked like so it was like I kind of wanted if they would have like put more into that maybe like I kind of like, would have enjoyed yeah. that like it wasn't a week away really it was, yeah but maybe they could have explored that a little more yeah because it seemed like you know the, again the dad's like oh she's like oh I won the lottery and he's like yeah I'll take that oh yeah. broads booze and because there are some major else. plot points like yeah like them hitting the lottery like that's like a major thing that it, it kind of was like brushed over. It's like pretty quick. It just was like, all right, move on. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. But then with the serial thing, it was like slow. So, so it's like, <laughs> there's like not really a balance there with the backstories in that sense. But it, yeah, overall it was good. Like if yeah. you look at it as a whole. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, <laughs> thank you again for being here. Thank you for the support. Uh, Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Yes, I do. Come tune in to the Twitch. It'll be linked down in the description below. Come say hi. Come say hi to Cameron when he's on stream. And I also have the lovely Miss Tina on there as well, sometimes playing some co-op games with her. It's always a good time, guys. Uh, Try to interact with chat where we can. And uh, feel free to drop some movie suggestions or even talk about some of our more recent reactions if you are so inclined. We already have a few of you guys over there. So it's always a good time. And uh, hopefully we'll see you there. Yeah, I got to check it out. It's a great time. All right, listen, everybody, if you're walking around in the woods of Maine and you come across a bunny rabbit, be careful because Cujo wasn't the only one in that cave with the bats. You might be in for a wild ride. (laughs) We'll see you guys on the next one. And peace. Peace.